babies and welcome into my channel. Today we're going to be going over the updated version of the bone weight transfer tool for Unity. The bone weight transfer tool is what we're going to be using to modify the rigging structure of our models, which is technically the bones and skeleton of your model. Moving forward in the future, this is what we will be using in order to reposition things on our model like wings or tails or other accessories. The updated version is different from the previous version in a couple of ways. Previously, when exporting your model, you were required to uncheck delete transparent meshes and uncheck combine hair mesh. If we did not do this before, the system exports the model with all the hair, all the hair pieces combined as one big piece and it, and it was a hassle to separate them later. Now, it does give us an option to work with a combined hair mesh, and I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to edit both ways. I will be linking where you can go ahead and download the bone weight transfer tool. And for this tutorial, I will be using Unity version 2020.3.13 F1. All right, after you set up your project in Unity, you've imported your asset packages and you've imported the bone weight transfer tool in the same way that you imported the Uni VRM package, you should have a setup like this. If you are familiar with the bone weight transfer tool, you'll notice that something is already different up at the top in our menu bar. When using the tool before, after you have imported it, you would notice that a tool window would pop up and you'd be able to click down and find it that way. Now now it is underneath window. So if you go to window and you go down to bone weight transfer, you'll find it right there. Your window will pop up and should be good. Also, you'll notice that the window is different because we have those two different modes that I was talking about earlier. Now it does work with a combined mesh mode. So let's say you forgot and you just don't want to go back into the program for whatever reason to separate your mesh um, and re-export. You can do it with the combined mesh mode. But first, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do it with the separated mesh mode like we're, we're used to. So what we're going to do is we're going to look over to our left hand side and you'll notice that you have your root in the hierarchy. If you go to the right of that, there is another little arrow that is going to go ahead and open our prefab folder so we can go ahead and modify our rig. So if you go in here, you'll see the hierarchy. You will have little drop down folders um, for different things. If they are closed and you don't see this, really all you have to do is go to this little arrow right here and click it, do the little drop downs for each one. And you're going to unfold these until you can see head. And once you see the folder for the head, you'll notice that you have all of these hairs right in here. These are all of your hair bones. Okay, and how they are attached to your model in the hierarchy. They're attached to the head right now. If you scroll down to this folder right here where it says hair and, and drop down, you'll see that you have all of these hairs and these are the weights for your hairs that you have on your model. And if you click through these, you'll see the different hairs on your model light up and you'll be able to see where they're at on your model. You're gonna fi wanna find the ones that correspond to the hairs that you're trying to modify. So right now I am trying to modify the wings on my back and I'm going to go ahead and go through these until I locate them. They were the last two things I put on my model. So they're going to be the last two hairs right here. And you'll see them once I click on them, they highlight. And this is where our bone weight transfer tool comes in. If you look at the window, you'll see that the first little area says target objects. This is where you're going to put the hairs that you want moved. So I'm gonna take the two, because I have two. And the cool thing about this is you can add more than one. So in order for you to select more than one object, you're gonna hold down shift and click. And I'm going to click and drag these to where it says target objects. This is important. You're going to want to use these and not these for this part. These hair weights are going, are going to be the ones that you're going to be using for the target object. Then what you're going to do is you're going to take the source bone. This is where the hair is currently at. So right now it's attached to my head. So if I click on the head and I go ahead and move it, you'll see that the wings are attached to the head and not my body. So our source parent is the head. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click on where it says head and I'm going to drag it into my source bone. The target bone is the bone you want to connect it to. This is where you want the hairs to go. I want them to follow against the top of my body. So I'm going to go ahead and attach them to the upper body or the upper chest. So you'll see right here where it says upper chest. I'm going to click and drag that into target bone and that's it. I'm not gonna unclick uh, the parent to target, that should be clicked. And we're going to go ahead and click on transfer bone weights. Once you click on it, you'll, you should see a message down here in the left-hand corner that says you were successful. And when you go back to your hierarchy, you'll notice that 
if I close my head, I now have two hairs that are underneath my upper chest area. So this is something that is different as well. Before in the bone weight transfer tool, you had to go back and move these by yourself. It wasn't enough for you to just move the weights. You actually had to go in and move the bones. But it looks like now with the update that it does it for you, which is really good. Really cool. Instead of having to find the hair in two separate places, you only have to find it in one, move them, and it does the work of transferring the bones for you. And now I can go ahead and verify that these are no longer attached to my head by moving my head and seeing that they no longer move together. After this, you could go ahead and close your window, go back by clicking that arrow on the left hand side of your model's name, and going to UniVRM and exporting like you normally would. Now I'm gonna show you how to do this with the combined mesh mode. Okay, so with the combined mesh mode, you're going to import your model like you usually would. The difference is, is this model we did not select, um, we did not deselect combined mesh mode when we were exporting our models. So now my all of my hairs have been combined into one. So for this, we're going to go ahead and we're going to bring back our bone weight transfer tool. We're going to go ahead and go here and right click on our model, go to prefab and you're going to go ahead and select unpack. Now what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and drop down your folders until you get to, or until you get to head. Notice that you can no longer press this arrow over here. You're going to be doing it in this window. I want to go ahead and make that clear so you guys aren't confused. We're going to go ahead and find our head in our hierarchy, which should be under neck, right? And you're going to go ahead and find which one of these hairs correspond to the to the hairs you're trying to move. For me, it, are, it is the wings. And like I said, those are the last two hairs that I made. So it should be the last two hairs in here. And you'll go ahead, you'll be able to see it if you click on it. And if you're not sure, you can move them just to make sure you have the right ones. So mine are 18 and 19. I'm going to take these two hairs. I'm going to hold shift and select both of them and I'm going to drag them into my source bones. Because these are the two bones that I would like to move. I want to transfer them to where I want them to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and find upper chest and I'm going to put that into target bone. And then we're just going to go ahead and press transfer parent bone weights. So you'll see that they are no longer attached to the head. And they are now underneath, if I close this drop down. They don't disappear because they are now underneath the file upper chest. And they're right here. So now you can go ahead and you will be able to go ahead and export your model and you check to make sure that everything works inside of um, your tracker of choice. Um, but that should be it. And you're all set. Hopefully that was helpful, babies. And you're able to kind of navigate the, the new system a little better. If it was, please give this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing so that you're notified whenever we drop a new video. Now that we know how to go ahead and transfer things and transfer the weight and things, we can go ahead and talk about how we can make wings and other accessories inside of Vroid and modify them in Unity. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, you are loved, you are valued, and you are worth it. And I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Bye, babies.